ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome back to the Pipe Cottage. We got old Adam here from Get Pipe, and uh, we're here we're here at Smitty's Pipe Shop and, and Pipe Show here in uh, Gainesville, Georgia. Adam, what in the world are you smoking, son? Before before we get into it, I'm smoking uh, one of the best tobaccos ever blended, uh, Mac Baron H H Burley Flake. Uh, got a little bit of Kentucky in there, a lot of bit of Burley. I'm a big flake guy as of late, uh, and this has been my it's been my go-to. It's kind of this is the calm me down on my way to work, you know, my commute, calm me down at night, you know, any kind of argument, you know, I'm having some Mac Baron, Mac Baron uh, Burley Flake. Man, that's good, 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 good. <laughs> So uh, we've been having a good time at this pipe show, and, and uh, if y'all have never been to Smitty's here in uh, Gainesville, Georgia, you need to come. There's wonderful people. The owners are just glorious. They're fantastic. They're just marvelous people. Uh, but if y'all don't know Adam, and Adam is the, uh, the, the, the creator and the brain behind the Get Piped uh, podcast and the Get Piped YouTube channel. And uh, he and I have become good friends over the past couple of months, and uh, we've been enjoying some good tobacco together here. Adam, what do you think is unique about this pipe show? Why should people come to it in future uh, uh, years? So the we, we talk about on our show the, uh, the difference between a, a pipe, really a pipe show, like a, a, a commercial pipe show, and then a, a pipe smoking event. This is this is weird because we're kind of calling it both because we have I just bought this you know artisan made pipe from a, a local artisan from Atlanta uh, just outside of uh, here in Gainesville but it's also a time where we just meet up we're sitting at a bar that sells beer and you know there might be some spirits around and it, it's become this this formation of a, a show slash event meetup so I, I like to brand them as like a pipe meetup and this has uh, been a very incredible piece of time for folks to come out, drive six, seven, eight hours. I know Alan drove what four and a half, four. Yeah, yeah, about five hours, four and a half hours. We were about six. I, I got my producer guy back there. For those of you who know who he is, he he drove ten hours total. Uh, and and there's there's folks around us who have traveled lengths to to meet, to, to talk, to talk about this, to, to talk about this, and, and to enjoy it with one another. And it, that alone is is a little bit more interesting than saying, hey, I'm going to the Chicago Pipe Show, I'm going to the Vegas Pipe Show, which I will be going to. I know Alan will be going to the Vegas Pipe Show. <laughs> but it's a little bit different because those are major muscle movements. People are purchasing you know, expensive flight tickets to, to go to these events where this is more of like, Hey, if you're in town, you live nearby. Let's let's go ahead and have a smoke, maybe a drink. Right, Adam. When did you get started with pipe smoking? I got started with pipe smoking. Uh, very ironically, I was uh, I went to a military school and uh, it was Norwich University, and I still wear my ring. Everyone's gonna make fun of me, uh, but but this 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 school, I was a I was a straight A kind of straight edge uh, cadet at the time until I had this one folly. Uh, I I had a lot of AR-15s, Glock 19s, Glock 17s, uh, a, a, uh, what was it, a, a Colt single action revolver and a lever action Henry in my car. And we would go to the range in Vermont, uh, it was a private school so I wasn't committing a felony, but uh, we'd go to the range and, and I, was, I was branching to be an infantry officer. We would have fun shooting guns on the weekend. Still can't have guns on a private campus, that was their rule. And this this straight straight edge cadet had gotten uh, got gotten caught. I uh, got closed military confinement uh, for it's like two and a half months. I, I had to wear my uniform every single day. I could not leave my room. I very very had like five formations a day. You know, 6 a.m. You know, 8:30 lunch. I was just always going to these formations, always in my uniform. This is my senior year of college. So all my friends are going to the bar. All my friends are going out, having fun, and I'm miserable. I was like, hey, what, I, what did I do to deserve this? You know, and I, I broke the rules yet again. Uh, when a friend said, hey, you know, Adam, you are down. You're not yourself. Come on over to my place. Come like right across the, the barracks. And I was like, if I get caught, I'm, I'm going to get kicked out. I said, don't worry, we'll, we'll do it at night. So I go over to his place at night, and I'm just sitting there drinking coffee. It's the middle of uh, winter in Vermont. 
And uh, he's like, you want to smoke a pipe? <laughs> and I was like, do I want to do what? I, I thought I thought a pipe was a a prop. I thought pipes were this gimmicky toy that Popeye would smoke. And he's like, no, seriously, let's let's smoke these pipes. And he pulls out two corn cob pipes in in the barracks room. I was like, well, it's it's minus twenty out. I'm not going outside. And he says, oh no, we're just gonna do it inside. <laughs> and I said. I'm going to get kicked out of the school, but he's like, well, I'm doing it. I'm not going outside. So we tape a, an MRE bag, a, like so, something similar to this guy. We type, tape a bag around the smoke detector, and we, we open the window, still cold, put a box fan out the window, and we're, we're lighting up this, this jar of tobacco. It was a, a blend from New Hampshire, a, a, a smoke, two guys smoke shop. This uh, They do a cigar podcast or something, and I was smoking a pipe in my barracks room or my buddy's barracks room against the rules and it was the most freeing experience in a time where I was supposed to be on closed confinement and I was like this is cool this is this I know he was probably doing it for the fun of it I was doing it I I wanted to continue I was like there's now there's a story there's an emotional story and I, I was like I need I need more of this and ever since then I've I've been very into it so very the, very so into the it. pipe so the pipe for you just as well as anybody else connects you to people who you probably would not have been connected to otherwise for sure it creates a sense of camaraderie and conviviality and a relationship with people who actually you can probably know for the rest of your life yeah, and uh, and so I just want to tell people that if you don't know about Adam's podcast, you need to listen to it. Uh, he's got a wonderful personality. He is dedicated to this hobby, or as I like to say, this lifestyle. Because uh, you know, here at the Pipe Cottage, what we say is that the pipe is a complimentary item to a well-lived life, and I don't think Adam would disagree with that. And so he does more. He, he actually does a great deal of. Uh, 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 pipe and tobacco reviews. He talks a lot about artisan pipe makers. I'm a, yeah, I'm a big artisan guy. So, uh, who are some of your favorite artisan pipe manufacturers? So, for the artisan pipes, I man, I think uh, I'm, I'm working on a YouTube video myself. It's uh, it's called. I have two versions. I was gonna say, hey, let's do a factory pipe versus artisan pipe of my collection. The factory one was 40 minutes long, and I'm still editing it. Uh, and that was just my factories. And then my artisan one should be about the same length. I think I have about 40, 30, 40 artisan pipes. The, the thing, I, I couldn't say, I mean, this one is a, 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 a Stefan Cashwell. He's a local guy to, to Atlanta. He, he's a newer artisan who's learning, he's, he's developing. And, you know, he, he's a great individual to, to look at for maybe an introductory artisan pipe. And then you got folks like, Nate King of Nate King Pipes, you have Brandon Brooks Pipes, you have David Huber, there's so many individuals out there. There, there, There's too many, honestly, but too many is a good thing, you know, not in the negative way. And I I love these events because I can go meet Stefan and say, wow, this is a pretty piece of wood. You know, what did you do for the stem? What did you do for this inlay? Why did you go with this length as opposed to this length? And he will tell me and then I'll say, okay, I'll buy it. And then I shake his hand look him in the eye and and leave with this this beautiful piece of work so well we don't have a whole lot of time we've actually got a raffle coming up here at the pipe show and uh, actually there's going to be a video is it is it promoting a new project that you oh have? yeah oh yeah well tell us about this 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 project that we're about to see uh, a little bit about so we have a today we're, we're revealing our very first artist uh, our very first uh, exclusive look really at this, this project called Battle of the Briar. Battle of the Briar was a, a same-named event that was held at Chicago Pipe Show uh, 2023 this this past year, and it was eventually it was basically three artisans have one hour to, to construct a pipe from a pre-drilled block, and and within that hour they would be judged based on some, it, albeit subjective, but but as as objective possible standards, and there'd be crowned a winner. Uh, so me and my, my friend Nick, my, my producer guy, we were able to shoot the entirety of this uh, event and follow Jared Coles. We were able to follow Scotty Pearsall and able to follow Tommy Escorti, these three makers, to see who would be crowned this battle, this king or queen or, or, or battle of the briar and this winner of the briar. And uh, 
we're finally releasing our first trailer. We have over six hours worth of footage, and and this is a this is an exclusive to Smitty Cigar. It will release to you guys on YouTube uh, at, on my channel at some point, probably probably six few days or so. I gotta I gotta stretch it out, really pay off the folks at Smitty's here today. But uh, it's gonna be a, a really awesome project. I I look to it as like a a, a more rookie approach. I'm a young filmmaker, but a, a rookie approach to a a documentary film. You know, we're, we're thinking about the, the, the pipe smoking documentaries, The Father of the Flame. I'd like it to be up there as a, you know, the, the rookie version that was made by and directed by me. So, Well, uh, Adam, we don't have a whole lot of time. We have got to go. I just want to make a quick video here. And for those of you who don't know about Get Piped and Adam, how can they find you? You find me at get underscore piped on Instagram if you like the short form stuff. But if you're here on YouTube, then you, of course, are a fan of long form stuff. I am not to the point. I know Alan's not either. Alan likes to, to chat. I as well. So if you don't come to my you know channel looking for the quick answer, I like to talk. Uh, that's YouTube.com slash get piped. And over there, we're... We, we, we've had a lot of conversation about our audiences, and, and while they might not necessarily be interweaving, they, they are on their own paths. But you know, we, we encourage each other to you know learn from each other, learn from the other content, because we are here to talk about you know pipes and tobacco. And and at the end of the day, you, you had mentioned it, like we come here and, and two gentlemen to to talk about pipes and tobacco and, and shake hands right. and right. and realize some you know some heart to hearts. But I'll tell y'all what, if you want a, a, a genuine, if you want to hear a gentleman talk to you about pipes and tobacco, uh, you need to check out Adam because he's got a wonderful spirit about him. He's, he, just look at him. Just look, look at him. Look at him. Look at him smile. He's just happy. He's got joy about him. And that's what people are attracted to. They're attracted to somebody who is not simply talking about something that's important that they can relate to. Yeah. Yeah. They are uh, presenting that information in a way that is uh, uh, satisfying, that brings joy to their life. And so Adam does that. So if you've not checked him out, then do it. we got to go because the evening is young. And so this is uh, Adam with Get Piped and Alan with the Pipe Cottage. Thank you all for stopping by.